Hey everybody, let's go ahead and play 270. We will play general election today, create the game. We're going to play as an independent candidate. Let's give Gary Johnson a try. So he has 10% oil and gas, 10% high tech, swing states, town and gown, youth vote, big conservative, with a small 20% penalty for labor and environment. That should give us a pretty good game. We'll do a 1v1, give it a minute or two here to find some people. So yeah, I've been working through this game now for a few months, um, just hoping to win uh, one game here with each of the candidates. So, so far I think I've made it through 10 or 12 of the candidates out of, I think there's 140 total. Um, so let's hope that we can add Gary Johnson. Um, looks like we're playing Biden 2020. Um, I think that's a pretty good candidate. Yeah, he's got 10% for African American, Latino, Old South, Ag, 20% for high tech, 33 for export and swing states. The swing states he's going to get early. So that actually could be a problem for us. Um, I doubt he'll go for labor and environment. He doesn't really need it. Um, with all the state groups that he'll get. So, I think... I think our best move is probably going to be to shadow him a little at the beginning and try to keep him from getting the uh, swing state vote. So, let's go for Pennsylvania and North Carolina. Um, for those of you that are new at the game, um, there's two separate sources of funding. So you get, everyone gets 250,000 per turn. Um, each of the states has a different cost associated with playing in them. Oh, and it looks like he was, he's going straight for the swing states, but he's playing conservatively, only putting 85,000 out to begin on the first round. So he's going to be a tough opponent. Usually when you see that, it's going to be a tough game. Um, but we see here, uh, the national groups. So these are like the party affiliated groups. Um, so for the Republicans, you have gun lobby and evangel uh, evangelicals um, and big conservative. And then you have youth vote, labor and environment and the women's movement for the traditionally Democrat candidates. Um, but it does vary. Uh, some of the candidates do cross over. Uh, so the developers have kept that pretty interesting. Um, yeah, so what's going to be the best way? He's going to be stockpiling cash to try to close things out pretty quick. Like, he can already close uh, North Carolina out, and that's going to probably be his next move. will be just to sec fully secure North Carolina. Um, so I think I'm going to put 200000 in Florida, because if we put two hundred in and he closes out North Carolina, he won't be able to put two in. So I don't have to worry about tying him, and then I'm going to put all my money into Florida to try to secure it from him. Um, meanwhile, let's add another pip to Wisconsin, because we'll need, if we don't get North Carolina, we'll need Wisconsin to secure the swing vote. So let's do that. Don't think I'm gonna put anything else in Pennsylvania for this turn, and we'll call it. Oh, so he did. He went for Florida. So we tied for Florida. So he's not going to close out North Carolina. And he didn't do anything but play in Florida. So his money stockpile is just continuing to grow. Um, he could put four in the Florida. I could put four in the Florida. Um, I'm going to do it. I, I might lose it all. Um, I might not. If I lose it all, it means he loses all of his, and then he'll still have 65 left, so he can make a move on either uh, Pennsylvania or Wisconsin if he wanted to, or he could move up and get to this third line, which is what you have to have to um, have that state count towards your state group. Okay, so he's just kind of spreading the love throughout the swing states. That That isn't a bad move. Um, 
the first time you play in a state, you can only move two pips into the state, so you can only play in there twice. Um, after the first time you've done it, you can go as far as your money will allow you to. So we're going to try here. I'll definitely be able to secure Pennsylvania because he hasn't played there yet. He could in Wisconsin overshoot me. Um, and he could also come down here and he could play um, five pips in Florida and move past me. But we'll see what he does. So he's securing all the other swing states. Um, and he almost got me in Wisconsin, so it's a good thing I played how I did there. Um, he played through most of his money, but because he had all those other states, he did secure the swing state budget. Um, that's going to give him a huge advantage when it comes to um, playing on the rest of these. So he's probably going to take Florida from me. No, he can only tie. He only has 400000 So if I lock down Wisconsin, I can definitely keep that um, and then I'm going to do this here um, these three states people typically go for all together um, out west they're all three of them are swing states um, and again that's state groups so we get funding different types of funding um, all the states have different alignments um, Montana is the only sad state that doesn't get anything um, yeah, so I like to play on all three of these at once, especially if my opponent's already there. Um, they're cheap, especially Colorado and New Mexico. Um, but by playing on all three of them at once with just one pip, I like to do that. And then I like to kind of just let them sit for a minute um, to try to hopefully get my opponent to forget that I played there. And then I like to come in and steal all three of them at once. Um, but since he has the swing vote already locked up, um, he's probably going to try to close him out pretty quick because he's got, you know, I think that's all the swing states that he's in. Um, yeah, he's got them all, so uh, he's going to probably try to close before he loses that bonus. Um, also, once this, for the state groups, once the states that are associated with that group have been secured, meaning that we hit this 10 pit mark, um, it doesn't really matter if you get the funding for it because at that point you cannot um, you cannot increase use that money anywhere else. So if this you have the swing state money, that money is only good on a swing state. You can't use it anywhere else on the map. So that's definitely important to keep in mind. I want to take two more on on Florida, um, mostly because he has 600,000, so the most he could do would be six, um, which would tie me. We'd both move back, but he'd move all the way back and burn through all 600,000, whereas I would only lose 200,000. So if he decides to go that way, um, we'll be protected, but yet yeah, he will lose out on quite a bit of money. Um, and then I'm going to save for 48,000. I'm just going to play in Virginia because um, I think that's another one um, that's pretty cheap. It's only 22500 to play each pip there, so it's an easy one to uh, steal. And he took Pennsylvania from me. Um, this is not turning out to be a good game so far, but I think we can still make some things happen here. So if I took both of the, I can't close them both this turn, but what should I do? I really want the 20 votes from here, but I can't do enough to secure it. We'll have to see what he what he does. Um, also, it might be time for us to think about other places too. 
earn some money from. So I'm going to only play the two pips on Virginia. I'm going to save the rest of my money because we might have to turn our attention to uh, New York and California for the high tech bonus. Well, that didn't go well either. Closed out Virginia. Um, maybe because of our kind of misdirect there, he moved up on Pennsylvania. So now, even though I have enough money to close it out, I bet this turn he would move it up anyways. I don't want to lose that money. Um, so I might just write off that state. Um, we've got 500,000. Let's go ahead and see what we can do over here. Um, and we will. We'll have enough to close out all three of these. Uh, oh, no, we're a little bit short. So whenever I'm short, I always like to take from the state with the fewer electoral votes, add it to the state with more electoral votes. Since at the end of the day, even though we want the funding, um, obviously it makes sense to uh, get the electoral votes because that's how we win the game at the end anyways. So we got Arizona. That's great news. And looks like we got Colorado. He's gonna lock down North Carolina. We got New Mexico then too. We just have to play one more pit there. He went ahead and closed Pennsylvania like I thought. So we spent a lot of money, but we did steal back 25 electoral votes from him. Uh, which is good. So even though we lost those for good, now he's running out of uh, swing states, so he's running out of places to even use his money. Um, I think I am going to try to move for Florida before we turn our attention to New York and California. Those are going to be a little bit more expensive. Um, let's see. Since we'll have Florida, we're going to go for New York first, because I think with New York and Florida, I think we'll have enough um, New York and Florida, and then if we get some, a couple other states, Chicago, not Chicago, that's not a state, Illinois, um, Michigan, uh, Georgia, if we get a, a few of those states um, with North America, we should also be able to get the African American vote, which we don't have a bonus for he does but it's only a 10% bonus so that's only 10,000 per round so that's not a huge bonus for him okay so he only spent 60,000 here um, and since he played on Louisiana and Maryland um, he's either I bet he's planning on Texas next. Although, I think Maryland, yeah, Maryland has the tech bonus. But Louisiana has oil and export, which Texas has oil and export. Um, but New York and California both have uh, the tech bonus, so we'll see. Um, I don't want to pump a bunch of money in and then tie him, so I'm going to go kind of light this round. Um, let's see. I'm going to close out Florida first off. Let's go ahead and get Michigan moving too. I hate going down to zero dollars because like you see he has 1.17 million. Um, you can, if you're in a contested state, that will, will burn you if they have more money. So it's definitely a good strategy to conserve your money. Um, I spent it here because he has so much money, I didn't want to give him the opportunity to steal Florida away from me by playing all the pips on it, so. So he did play one on Texas, so he was going to Texas next. Um, which is fine, because the oil bonus will help him in California, so I might have to fight him a little bit there and he'll have the advantage. Um, but like I said, if I can get the African American vote, that'll help me with some of the other states that I can grab up while we're fighting for that. Um, so I might still be able to pull this off.
We're going to stop here um, because we have 55,000 left. New York's 150,000, so with our 250 that we get at the beginning of the next turn, we'll be able to play two pips there, which will give us our three mark and give us um, that stays locked up. So let's see what he does. California. So he is going for, for both Texas and California, which it's a lot of votes to lose, but if I can get New York and Florida, um, along with some of the other, you know, the mid states, I shouldn't have much of a trouble with that. Um, California and Texas are the two most valuable states in the game as far as um, all the extra state groups. So I definitely don't want to give them away, um, but I can still do something without them. As a matter of fact, I think without California, I don't have California, I don't have Pennsylvania. So I need to get Massachusetts, Michigan, Washington, Maryland, and Utah, and I think I would actually even need Connecticut, New Hampshire, or Delaware um, to unlock the tech bonus if he has Florida. Not Florida, California. Oh, and here he comes. Coming for New York and Michigan, so that's not good. He'll probably be able to take New York from us. Um, although he only has an Old South bonus, he's got a lot of cash, but I think most of that cash is probably in swing states, um, which New York's not, so it might not be as big of a deal. Um, but he has been playing pretty frugally, so he might have a lot of regular cash as well. Um, I don't want him to take Michigan from me, so I think I'm going to just do that. Split two votes, or two pips on Michigan, one pip on New York. We'll see how it goes. And there he goes. So he took New York from us. Um, <clears throat> so we can try to fight for it back, but I have a feeling he's going to be able to defend that pretty well, um, just given the amount of money that he has. Um, but we really need some of that money uh, to do anything on our own, so uh, we don't have enough to fight for it. We'll close out Michigan. Um, and then I think we're going to... So there's a strategy. I'm not a huge fan of it. Actually, I really dislike it. Um, <laughs> But in a situation like this, uh, neither of us are close to 100 electoral votes on states that have been fully completed. Um, I'm at like 25, 35, 50, and like 80. Um, so I need to close out a couple more states before I could force the vote. But that is a strategy. Um, so I might try to do that. As long as he is below 270, and I have my states locked up, if I play on all the states, and my states equal at least 100 that I have locked up fully, when we go to end that round, it'll force the vote. Um, and then there will be a ballot at the end of the next turn, but because of that rule about not being able to play more than two pips in a state, um, <laughs> the first time you play there, uh, that will prevent them from taking those states back from me. So I could actually steal quite a bit from him that way. Um, he won't have the African American vote, so I don't really have to worry too much here. I think he did lock up the Old South though, um, which will give him some advantage down here. But what we'll do... He's got oil, so I don't really want to 
tempt him to close me out and steal a bunch of them ahead of time. Because um, I'd really like to play one pip on him and then force the vote. So what do I have? I have... 40... So I'm at 70. So I need 30. Maybe I'll go for these three to close out. Although he's got Old South, so it might be tough. We'll see. <laughs> you know what he's doing. So now he's got most of the funding. Um, so again, this is going to be a very tough one for us to win at this point. Um, because like I said, all but Montana are covered by that funding, and Montana, it's cheap. I mean, you don't need special funding to take it. Um, yeah, so... Not a great game. Yeah, played us by coming out here and getting the uh, these three states, which were swing states, and then getting Ohio and Iowa along with uh, Virginia, North Carolina, and Pennsylvania. It gave him the swing vote, and then he used that money to kind of put us on the defensive. And after that, we were kind of out. Of I'd love to hear if any of you guys have any ideas on what we could have done differently from the beginning. I'm always open to hearing whatever we can do to play a little bit better. So he died us for Alabama, so he was trying to close it out and steal it from us. No big deal. He did steal Mississippi from us, so that's unfortunate. Um, he's also creeping up there. He's up to 243. Um, so again, for us to force the vote and have it work, he has to be below 270. It won't work if he makes it over the 270 mark before we, we move that route. And by securing... South Carolina and Mississippi there, um, it did give them the African American vote. So again, it puts us further on our heels. Just not a great game. Go ahead and close out Arkansas. I can't play on those yet because again, we want to make sure that we can force the vote without having him given the opportunity to play in those states. So we're going to play a little dumb here and not do that. That's our plan. I gave him Alabama. Um, it wasn't worth us spending our money. He's got so much more money than we do that. If we tried to time, it wasn't going to help us. He took Illinois. So he's over 270, so unless we take a state back from him, uh, he's going to win. And at this point, you know, we'll do what we can, but it's not looking good.
see what we can do with that. Alright, we'll give him Tennessee. He's gonna spend the easy money to close out DC and Delaware. Let's see what he does with that. So see, he has enough money that he's, even if we had tried to defend one, he would have gone for So, <clears throat> he knows what we're trying to do, and he's just got the, the benefit of the dollar, so our hands are kind of tied. He's going to close that out, so we can't really go for that. He's at 283, um, so we need to take back at least 13 votes. And move and just kind of start working towards closing the states out so that he will have to uh, or so that it'll run for the ballot and it runs for the ballot um, he'll be able to walk away with the plan it's a good game uh, just didn't go our way from the beginning um, have to think back and see what we did wrong uh, he might have just played better than us He only played on Illinois, um, mostly because we hadn't played yet in any of other states, so we didn't have any reason to spend more money than that. Um, you could kind of just sit back and wait and see what we did. So, he's got a ton of swing state money, and we're not going to try to take that. He's got old time, he's got everything, so. I don't even know if I want to... We gotta try, right? We can't quit. We gotta try. Yeah. No? Yeah. Can't decide. Alright, we'll do it. He's just shattering us. He's playing one pip in every state we're in, so that at the end he can just come in and consolidate his positions and lock everything down. So he conflicted us in Ohio because he knew how much money we had, so he knew what he had to play. Yeah, you know, this game's a lot of fun. Um, you can win with anybody against anybody. There's definitely some candidates that have an advantage over other candidates, but for the most part, um, it's an open playing field for you to come up with your own strategy, um, and then it's just how you play against your opponent to determine who's going to win. Um, not every game is, is fairly matched, but uh, it's even enough in the game to typically make it a fun experience. Um, Situations like this uh, are the one downside to the game, and I think just about any game, you know, you can have a snowball effect where there becomes a point when you, know, you have one candidate that has six and a half million dollars, and another candidate that gets two hundred fifty thousand in turn. Um, as you see there, when he spends two point one million dollars to my two hundred forty-seven thousand, um, that's not exactly a, a level playing field. So yeah, he's definitely taking the win on this one, um, but that's why, you know, the early moves, they do matter. Um, you can make some mistakes, but you can also uh, you know, give your opponent a snowball, so that's what I think we did. So now that all the states have been played in, it's kind of forced the ballot. And to be honest... Uh, he's going to be able to do whatever he wants for any state that he's played in. He hasn't played in any of my new states here, so I'm just going to go ahead and put a second pip in him. 
Um, what that does, that just makes it so that if he plays in him, um, he's either going to play one pip, which will be less than our two, or he's going to play two and we tie. If we tie, because I already controlled the state with one, um, it drops him back to zero. We stay at one, and we keep the state, so before the ballot. So at least we keep a little bit of face. Um, 180 to 358 is not a good score by any means, um, but you know we can be safe with a little bit of face, um, and we have some presence on the map. Now, see him spending all that money on California. He's just showing off. He knows there's nothing I can do in California. He's just spending his money. And this is what I was talking about with making sure that we kept those states that we played in. We didn't have to do much, we only had to play once in it to then make it conflict and bounce back. But it doesn't matter when you're this this far down at the end of the game. Okay, we'll just go ahead and skip to the end. Um, so that will be the end. Uh, 180 to one or to 358. Um, 28 million popular vote to 82, so he definitely had me handed there. Um, a lot of conflicts there in the last one, but look at that. Look at all that funding he had. So, yep, snowballed. Um, not the game I like to see, but they do happen. Looks like Gary Johnson is not our man today. Um, maybe we'll play again and we'll play with someone else like Dan Crenshaw. Typically do a little better with him. So that's the game. Um, definitely come back, uh, subscribe to the channel, and you'll see plenty more. Um, and we'll talk to you later.